So the sunflower starfish is actually incredibly important. They were recently listed as critically endangered along the California coast by the ICUN list. That means that there's barely any that you would find in the California coast where you used to find them all over the place. So whenever you go out to a beach tide pooling, you'd be almost stepping on them. And now you can't find them anywhere. California has beautiful kelp forests that is habitat to thousands of different animals. And that habitat is being destroyed right now by over um, population of purple urchins. Those purple urchins normally would get eaten by Pycnopodia or sunflower starfish as they eat other echinoderms or starfish and urchins. But because of their decline after the sea star wasting disease multiple years ago, the purple urchins population has mass produced and is decimating our kelp forest, which is destroying habitat for many different species and affecting animals all up and down the California coast. So we collaborated with Alaska Sea Life Center uh, in Seward, Alaska. We went up there where they have over 45 adult individuals and we were able to successfully spawn them. And we have, as you can see, a ton of larvae. So we are growing these up from free floating larvae to tiny settled starfish to much larger juvenile starfish. But the goal here is to get good and kind of break the code about how to mass produce and breed and care for these animals in our care so that then we can reintroduce them back into the wild to see surges of their numbers along the West Coast.